I wanted to speak about unexpected expenses. I like to plan for everything, but we can't. What happened last October 2019, all of a sudden I get the flu. And I am so careful. I mean, washing my hands. If my hands are dirty and I have to turn on the sink, I turn it on with my elbow. I mean, I, I touch uh, door handles in public, then I take my hand and I rub it on my, uh, the pant leg of my knee so, you know, friction will kill any um, harmful bacteria. Somebody walks by me and they're coughing. I hold my breath. I mean, everything. What I eat, I don't eat sugar. I don't eat dairy. I mean, on and on. So, plus I try to behave well and be nice to people and forgive people so I don't have any bad karma, as they, as they call it. So anyway, get the flu. It was pretty mild, so that's one good thing. Then I get a cold. Then I get a sinus infection. And then my face swells up. So this, this, we're already into October, November, December with the swollen face <laughs> over here and pain. So I went to the ARNP, the nurse practitioner at the sliding scale clinic, you know, $25 a visit, I, everything's planned, everything's perfect. And she says, it's either your sinus or your tooth, or both. Okay, so I get all the phone numbers for the free dental clinics, the reduced price clinics. I mean, there must be four or five of them here in Central Florida. Get this, one of them meets in a church and you just show up there and it says online, be prepared to be here for four hours. Bring food for yourself. <laughs> I mean, so uh, we have a lot of new dentists dentists in the area because there's a large retirement population in Florida, especially Central Florida, and uh, retired people need dentists and doctors and veterinarians for their pets. I mean, stores. I mean, we need everything here. It's good business. So we're always getting these deals in the mail. Um, $59 first visit, new patients, you'll get an exam, you'll get a cleaning, you'll get full mouth x-rays, and I, these these offers keep coming every week. So I've tried so many of them because uh, I always had problems with dentists since I was like three years old. The, uh, the dentist I went to when I was three was kind of rough and mean, and I was this delicate little thing, and and I bit him, so he threw us out of the office, me and my mother, and my mother said, uh, look, if you behave with the next dentist we go to, I'll buy you a big banana split at the five and 10 cent store. I think it was McCrory's. This wasn't a normal experience, eating a banana split. They had a, a rope across the counter um, you know, high up, and they had balloons, blown up balloons tied to the rope, and there was a different price in each balloon. So after you ate your banana split, you would point to the balloon that you choose, whichever color you like, and the uh, waitress would get a pin, and she'd pop that balloon, and out would fall this little piece of paper with the price you would pay, and sometimes it was a penny a penny for this beautiful banana split. And besides that, you get to take home a dish, which was a plastic boat, which actually will float in your bathtub. I mean, what more, what more could you ask? The 50s were a lot of fun. Anyway, so uh, the next dentist, Dr. Golden, he was so nice, so friendly, so gentle. So I behaved there very nicely, and I got my banana split. 
and all the other dental visits my childhood, which there was plenty of them because we ate a lot of sugar back then, I got my banana split after the dental visit. Anyway, back to my current problem. So December, the day before that I was leaving with family to visit Miami, I mean, I was so busy and my face was getting worse and worse and then and I had pain too I finally you know found another new dentist because I didn't know who to try anymore I thought I tried all of them that I would all of them that I'm willing to see some of them you look at their picture and you don't want them near you no thank you uh -uh. so they gave me an appointment I was their first client in their office oh yes first client so so I'm still with this lady, wonderful woman, um, so skilled, so smart, so friendly, so loving. She told me I had an abscess and then et cetera, et cetera. I needed bone graft and they usually use a cadaver bone. No, thank you. And I told her I want it to be kosher. I mean, I don't want the, the pig part. I, I, mean, I mean, this stuff gets bizarre. Anyway, so now I've been uh, in treatment with her, uh, you know, since January. She even sent me to a consult with an orthodontist. I have another video about that. Anyway, so slowly by slowly, we're taking care of my problems. After the abscess thing, I, told, I got so disgusted with the orthodontist. What she wanted to do, I just went back to this other new nice lady dentist. And I said, just pull it out. How much will it cost? So dentists are so expensive. Yeah, it's only like $300 to uh, pull a tooth. But then if they're going to put a bone graft, which uh, um, gratefully I was able to get one that's just like, you know, minerals. It wasn't from any animal or anything. And the bone graft is like a like $1,000. So, or, or 900, almost a thousand. So, of course, it's not just materials you're paying for their skill. And this is a very skilled profession, being a dentist. So I charged it. I have emergency savings for just this kind of thing. And so then my next appointment, we're getting back to normal dental care. Maybe I haven't seen a dentist in a year and a half or something like that. And they did the cleaning and a whole set of x-rays. And, and it turns out that um, the uh, beautiful amalgam silver fillings that Dr. Golden of Miami Beach had put in when I was like seven years old. And so it's like 60 plus years already. Uh, they're finally giving up. I mean, you know, the way the, the dentist explained it to me, they... The, the amalgam shrinks and then there's a space and then it expands and when it expands it cracks the tooth so there's hairline fractures and and we have uh, 12 cavities now because of all these old fillings and etc cetera, etc cetera. so <laughs> we're talking about thousands of dollars care credit would not give me um, loan me that and this other thing called Smile Care, I think, uh, will just uh, loan me like 2500 at a time. So finally I decided I'm just going to charge everything. And uh, that's what the emergency savings is for. And uh, if it runs out one day, then um, I'll be uh, qualified for um, food stamps and Medicaid. I mean, what can you do? And I started thinking about what I hear on the news that uh, the most, uh, the reason people go bankrupt most frequently is because of medical bills. And I could see that happening because this is not something where I, I was careless or something. It just, I mean, there are things out of your control that happen. So I think we need to stay positive and stay cheerful. I mean, there's all kinds of things. If things get, get bad and I have nothing left besides the, uh, getting uh, food stamps and Medicaid, um, my the house is paid for, the truck is paid for, and um, if something uh, 
uh, it breaks down though, like let's say the heating system goes, you know, that could cost, uh, I suppose, five $5,000 these days. Um, what if the truck uh, doesn't work anymore and it's really too expensive to finish? Um, I just I just don't know. But uh, I, uh, I've i um, been uh, following and, and in awe of the Almighty, you know, since I was 19 years old. I wish it would, would have happened earlier. But anyway, that's a long time, and I've seen that things always work out. And... Um, who knows? Maybe uh, I did some calculations here. If I made four dollars on Quora last year, and now I'm making twenty-six dollars a month in the year two thousand twenty-six, I should be making one hundred six thousand a month on Quora. <laughs> anyway, anything's possible. But you never know the things the Almighty could do to work things out. And so far, I still have some emergency savings, but I'm I'm going to just get it done. I can't I can't let uh, cavities continue. You know, I have to do something about them. And uh, so here we are, surprises, surprises. And there's always that thing you see on TV, um, the reverse mortgage where you stay in your house and you live in your house and um, but somebody else some company owns it and, and they pay you but I know of a family here in this community they did that and uh, when they had to move one day for, for health reasons then all of a sudden um, that loan that they give you uh, since you didn't stay in the house until until you die you left earlier then all of a sudden that becomes due and you have to work something out with them in order to restore your credit and some bank will buy the house for like you know a third of the value and it gets very complicated and I don't like the idea of being stuck somewhere because I would like to uh, you know go back home on South Florida uh, before I die I want to uh, be near the cemetery. Why should they ship my body? That's just so weird, isn't it? Anyway, just sharing some thoughts and think about unexpected uh, expenses. And you could always go more frugal. Why not? Who knows the things we'll think of, the things we'll invent. And uh, it's all very interesting. And I'm grateful to have a nice dentist. It's like a social visit when I go there. The jokes and et cetera, et cetera. Okay.